Okay, here we are, off and running. And uh, wow, I had a long, crazy day yesterday. And um, waiting for a couple of people to jump into the chat so I don't have to sit here and talk to myself. Uh, but yesterday, um, I shopped, well, I left home at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I got home a little after 6 last night. So needless to say, it was a very long day. Uh, Thrifty Paper Garden is here. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. Um, my friend Chris was involved, as a matter of fact. Nancy Thomas is here. Um, good to see you, Nancy. I'm glad that you're able to join us because I know you're you're uh, remote right now and not at home. Um, Holly just texted me, my daughter, and said, um, you know, I'm like, I'm going live in a few minutes. Don't text me. And she goes, okay, good. I might tune out. And I'm like, don't you mean tune in? She goes, that's what I typed, tune in. But anyway, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like a little, a little alarm thing going off in one of these bags. I have no idea what that is. I, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. So let's talk a little bit about what's been going on. Um, it sounds like something is getting ready to like explode or something. Anyway, um, Mitzi reseller is here. Hi, Mitzi. She's saying she's refreshing. Um, she can hear and not see. Well, sometimes that's <laughs> considering the state that I'm in, you might be better off, but, um, I have had a cold. Um, uh, I've had a cold since I had the last live show. So I was starting to feel bad during the end of that live show and I've kind of been sickly since then. But it was well enough yesterday to uh, go on a shopping binge. And it was a shopping binge. So I text Chris, um, you know, because we like to get together because we're only about an hour and a half ish away or we kind of meet so that we both don't have to drive two hours. Um, and I'm like, you know, she was, she's like, do you want me to drive up there? And I'm like, um, I'm like, no, 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 I want to go to the outlet and that thrift store we always like. And Mitzi's saying, she see the logo. What do you see? Um, I am actually, I have the, the show up on YouTube as well, watching it, um, not out of vanity, but so that I can see the chat and I can see the live show. So I don't know if you need to go out and come back in. Is everyone else seeing the, the video? Um, yeah, Chris is saying refresh Mitzi. So hopefully that will fix the issue. But so, you know, I, I wanted to drive and, um, and, and meet with her and uh, go to the outlet and go to this one thrift store that we always like find good stuff. So, I get there, um, or I'm on my way and Chris is like, you know, she slept in and, and, um, you know, so she's running a few minutes behind. No problem. I'm going to go into the outlet and shop and I'll see you when you get here. So, um, uh, anyway, <laughs> I, um, so she's on her way and, and it's been a while. It's been about an hour and I, I'm, I'm texting her and I'm thinking, um, you know, are you okay? Cause I haven't heard from her and it's, she should be here by now. And uh, she's like, I, I'm almost there. Just, you know, it's okay. So I'm like, all right. And a few minutes later, 15 minutes later or so she texts me again. She's like, I'm in the parking lot or I'm here. And I'm like, I'm in the parking lot. I do not see you. And I'm like, where are you parked? And she's describing where she parked. And I'm like, where are you? Are you in Dayton? And uh, she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, well, I'm in Cincinnati. So I had driven to the Cincinnati outlet. She had driv driven to the uh, Dayton outlet because um, the, um, both of those situations have a, a Goodwill outlet and a thrift store that we really like and we always find good stuff in. So she thought that I wanted to go to the outlet with the thrift store across the street. And I actually wanted to go to Cincinnati. So I ended up, I ended up just saying, I'll be at the bins 
where you are, you know, just give me a little bit. So it took about 30, 45 minutes or so um, to get there. But then we spent the rest of the day shopping and it was, it was awesome, but pretty funny. Um, I guess I need to be more clear um, because I should never assume that people are in my head and know what I'm thinking. So, um, yeah, that was pretty interesting. So while I was checking out yesterday at the Goodwill outlet in Cincinnati by myself, um, there was a lady in line ahead of me and a lady in line behind me. And the lady in ahead of me had this pile of clothes sitting on the scale. Um, and it started to topple over. So, so I was trying to catch them for her and I set them back up on the scale and she looked at me and she said, I really like your videos. You're very funny. And I thought, this is very odd that I would run into somebody that actually watches videos. That isn't Chris, like Chris and I kind of met, um, we did not know each other before I started doing videos. We met, um, kind of purposefully like we connected in um the video the um comments and then like decided to meet after that so it's kind of um kind of odd that to run into somebody that recognizes you it's, it was very surreal and i was obviously incredibly flattered flattered and um turns out she's not even a reseller she just happened to run across my videos as a um, a recommended video and watched them. So it's just very weird. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Ilona El Elosica, Elosica. I'm terrible with that. Terrible with names. There's that beeper thing going off again. I'll be glad when we find that and figure out what toy that is or alarm or something. All right. Um, one other thing I want to talk about, and I don't see her in the chat yet. I don't know that she's watching. But, um, okay, so I, um, I am part of, not part of, I belong to this app called um, Nextdoor, and I don't know if you know it, uh, but let me show you. It is actually this one that looks like a little house. On my phone, it's underneath the Papa John's app, but I digress. Um, so I saw a message, and, and what this app does um and what this app does is connects you with people in your community really seriously anyway obviously i can't tell take noise i can't take repetitive noise any so um i was reading this app and it's i basically it identifies you in a neighborhood you identify yourself as being part of a neighborhood and then people post to your neighborhood and bordering neighborhoods um just bits of information like there's a suspicious car um and there or you know i have this for sale or whatever it's just the social media app um that allows you to really connect with local folks so i saw this story and um i saw this story of a lady that was looking for a sixpence and um she wanted to put it in her shoe she liked that tradition for her wedding and um i thought that is so sweet and of course we all kind of want to be the hero when there's something like that that we we can do or think we can do so i wanted to be the hero and um i thought you know i'm gonna reach out to one of my followers that I know lives in England and I'm going to see if I can get her to send me a sixpence. Cause it's not something like I have laying around. I looked in my treasure chest full of coins. I, I didn't happen to have a sixpence. So I reached out to Kath Palmer, who is a follower, a watcher from, um, um, great Britain. And I said, you know, would it be possible for you to get a sixpence and send it to me and I will pay you whatever it costs to get that. And, um, Kath is amazing. And that was, a, that was several weeks ago. That was probably, I want to say like the end of October, right around, maybe around Halloween. I don't remember exactly. So, um, day before yesterday, so Thursday, look what I got in the mail. And, um, I got this great letter from Kath. I'm going to read you part of it. 
and uh, I'll get back to the chat in just a second. And she says, Dear Sarah, here are a couple of six pences, I think. I also, or I asked another reseller I know named Ken Chapman, and he sent me the enclosed with a request just to buy a homeless person a cup of coffee. I am also paying it forward and sending um, this to you with the same request. Uh, I hope these six pences bring the girl getting married a lot of luck. She'll need it. Boy, isn't that true? Um, lots of love from one of your fans. Keep me, uh, keep up the YouTube videos. Uh, we love your down to earth approach, Kath Palmer. So nice little note. Thank you so much, Kath. And she sent me, um, there's one still stuck in here. Yeah. Let's, let's play out of here. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. So she sent me these six pence. And if you don't know anything about British money, you will know that these are not in, these are no longer in circulation. It's not like somebody asking you, could you send me a quarter, you know, and you go to your purse and get a quarter. These, these are from the, I believe my husband was looking at these are, and they're mostly from the sixties. And, um, and they're just very cool. Like look at the back of, of this guy very very cool this one's from 1948 so um i just want to first of all thanks thank you kath for for doing this that that is just so incredibly um so incredibly generous of you to do that to go to the expense of that and uh you know and taking the time to ship it to me and, and the nice note thank you so much that is awesome i also want to say that the reselling community is just so generous and so kind um, that she was able to reach out to another reseller that she knows. And they just said, here you go. Um, do something nice for somebody else. So I reached out, you know, you guys know I'm a little crazy. I reached out to this lady because she didn't know I was sending, like getting them for her. Um, and I said, you know, I know you probably have gotten six pence already now, but you, I need to give you these. And I told her the entire story and she responded with, I love this. I will definitely pay this forward. And so I'm going to send these to her. Um, she actually lives right in this town, but she sent me her address. So I'm just going to drop them. Um, I'm going to drop them in an envelope and send these to her. And then I am also, I've already got my good deed planned. Um, and that will be going out to the mail to someone that I do not know. I just have the address, uh, but I'm sending her a package for her birthday. And, uh, and, I, and I won't get into how I know all of that. But um, anyway, she's a single mom newly single mom and is not expecting gifts for her birthday. So I am sending her some gifts for her birthday along with some other stuff. And um, that is going to be one of the good deeds that I do. But since Kath sent me five, six pences, that's not 30 pence. What is 30 pence? I don't know. I don't do British math, but, um, or maths. I don't do the maths. Um, but since she sent me five, I intend to do five, random acts of con kindness. So I'm reaching out to you guys to see if you will do an act of kindness, particularly during this month. I don't know. Something just fell upstairs. Um, do a random act of kindness this month and, um, you know, just pay it forward a little bit. This is uh, traditionally a month of giving and, um, you know, make sure that in the glut of all of this commercialism that you are giving to those that are less fortunate, uh, which I know that you guys do because you guys are so awesome. So anyway, I just wanted to share that and show you how kind the people are and it doesn't matter which continent they're from or which country or anything. Um, I just love that. So thank you again, Kath. And I'm sorry you're not here to, to, to hear this live, but thank you so much. And I do count you as one of my friends now. So um, 
let's jump back to this chat real quick and then we'll jump into all the crap that I have bought since I have rambled on for 15 minutes. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ilona is saying uh, she made it. It's 18 p.m. in Holland. What is that, like 6 o'clock? Again with the math. You're going to make me do math? Um, a thrifty paper garden is saying that the batteries will eventually wear out in whatever that is that is chiming. Yes, I hope that. Uh, Chris says, oh my gosh, how nice. And that is just, uh, the whole story is nice. So I, I'm hoping your marriage lasts. Um, uh, will you take lessons here? Hi, it's so nice to see you again. Um, you are in Great Britain as well. Um, let's see, Kim S says it's very nice of her. Uh, so Will says the sixpence uh, was mixed in with Christmas pudding and it was dished up and you were lucky if you got it in your mouth. Also given at weddings for luck. Uh, and Lona says that it's amazing. Chris says I don't do any math and that might be true. Um, let's see. Chris says she's taking a casserole to a neighbor today who had, who just had surgery. So that's, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. We don't need to, I'm sorry, I've been going through a personal summer for the last week and hot flashes and emotions. So just just deal with it. Um, but you don't have to save the world. Give somebody a sandwich. It'll make a difference. Oh, with the, the emotions. Don't you just love menopause? Uh, anyway, let's talk about some crap because I got a ton of it. Yesterday, I spent about $120 and I got a ton of stuff. Um, I would not be surprised because I didn't add it up yet because I got home so late last night and honestly I just unloaded my car. But I would not be surprised if this is upwards of $800 to $1,000 worth of stuff once I break it all down. So a, a ton. I got a ton. But um, this is not one of the things that I bought yesterday. I did buy this at an auction. And um, it was a um, like an online auction, and I paid seven dollars for this. And um, I thought she might be one of those convex. Um, couldn't tell from the photos. One of those convex uh, photos, which are they're pretty valuable. But I love her anyway. Isn't she great? Look at that face. I'm trying not to get all the reflection and everything. So, but this is not the best part of this photo. You would think the front of a photograph would be the best. It's not. This is the best part of this photo. So this says, Jimmy's grandmother, Margaret Riley, and in parentheses, or in, yeah, in, in uh, parentheses, she has, in, a, in quotes, dur, I don't do grammar either, apparently. Um, it says nanny. So they called her nanny. Um, looks like the family name was Lemkul, L-E-M-K-U-H-L, and she was born approximately 1860, and she passed away in 1936. And then it says, I wrote this on May 23rd, 1979, Sandra J. Lemkul. So I love that there is some kind of provenance with this photograph. Um uh, and she is sweet. I don't know. I may keep this. Um, I would guess that this photograph is probably 20s, 20s to 30s, um, maybe a little earlier, but it's definitely after the turn of the century, I feel like, with the neckline and the haircut. So, um, and I think her hair is, gosh, with the reflection already. I think her hair is gray. So, um, I just love this. I love that this tag says, Abraham and Strauss Incorporated Brooklyn Picture Department. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what she's worth. Uh, I don't know if I'll sell her. I love it. I know. I know. I'm in the business of reselling, correct? Let's see. Um, Thrifty Paper Garden says, I have a huge convex baby picture. I'm afraid to list for big, uh, for because of the shipping and what I would recommend is if this is going to go for quite a bit of money, which it really, really could. 
um, you might want to get it professionally wrapped. And you can go to like a UPS store or a FedEx store, some of those, and they will professionally wrap it. You can ship it yourself. You know, uh, you might want to just go in and see how much it would cost and then factor that into what you're asking for this picture. Unless you just love it so much. That's my husband. Uh, unless you just love it so much that you're just, that's just an excuse to keep it. Um, let's see. I didn't tell him I was going live. So, I guess I'll just text that to him. Anyway, Chris is saying, <laughs> Chris said, I just love saying provenance. Don't you? Isn't it a great word? Um, it would only be better if um, someone with a British accent would say it because that's just better than this janky in American accent. Uh, Thrifty Paper Garden says, I bought an antique photo and I put it on my shelf. It read Cousin Willie on the back and he had become part of our family. My sister has a photo or two of older folks that are in the, that are in her house that they're not part of our family, but um, by blood, but just by, you know, association they are. So I totally get that. Um, yeah, but check and see if that, it may not be as expensive as you think um, to ship that. And actually the, the, the convex picture that I've sold in the last, probably is probably in the last three, three, four months ago. Um, it shipped to Australia. So you can, um, you can ship it so that it won't break. Um, this is bun bun bunny. I paid 69 cents for Bun Bun Bunny, and um, this is probably going to be a gift for somebody. I need to clean it, but how scary cool is that? Uh, there's a whole series of these. I don't know if it's a, a part of a cartoon or if it's just um, like plush and t-shirts and that kind of thing, but um, I thought it was cool. Uh, it was worth the 69 cents for me. You ever buy something you have no idea ex what it is? I mean, like, you really don't know what it is. Well, here's the thing. All right, so <clears throat> I paid $5.99 for this. And I had no idea, like, what it is. The heck is it? Well... I did some research today, and this appears to be some kind of buffet serving thing. So this <clears throat> plugs into this vase and charges this hot cell. So this hot cell apparently you can use 500 times. And it will keep your food up to 120 degrees for three hours or like 230 degrees for two hours. And um, uh, I went to the manufacturer website to see if I could even get a price. And they you have to request a quote through them. I can't find any, any salts and um, nothing on worth point. So I have no idea what these cost. Um, I think the hot cell ends up going down in maybe in this. I'm not sure, but uh, I have a feeling this is high end. So <coughs> I may just have to put it at auction and see what happens. I'm going to try and test it to see if it works, but I don't know how much use it's had. So it could have a hundred uses left. It could have 10. It could have 450. I don't know. Okay. Um, Alona says, yes, I do most of the time. Um, yeah, buy something you don't know what it is. I, I, I mean, if it looks like it's some kind of quali quality or something just coolly like interesting, I'll buy it. Chris says, line from the glamorous life. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. That is so funny. Um, you uh, you waited on me yesterday. Big mistake. 
huge. Um, I probably just screwed that line up. It's from Pretty Woman. When they were treating her like trash because she looked like trash. Uh, but anyway, so I don't know. That could be worth, you know, $25, $30. It could be worth $200. I have no idea. But we'll work, we'll work through that. So, let me see. I haven't even unpackaged all this stuff. So, interesting. It's almost like Christmas with my memory issue that I have. It's undiagnosed, by the way. But I know I have a memory issue. In fairness, she was dressed like a hooker. Thrifty Paper Garden says it's perfect time of year for buffet server. It sure is. Um, with uh, everything that's you know all the holidays and stuff um, so if you guys uh, don't watch my show normally or whatever um, this is a bolo this ugly goose head duck head ceramic 1984 wall hanging is a bolo um, I paid a dollar 99 for this and it is actually, um, you screw it to the wall and you hang an apron or um, a dish towel or, you know, something like a hand towel, whatever, on this. And uh, it, decorates, it decorates your kitchen and it's functional. Well, who would want this? I don't know. But they, I sold them for $25 to $30 in the box. I'm hoping to get about $20 for this one. This is a nice big one. It does have an eye missing, but um, I don't even think that really detracts from the way it looks. I, I sort of like it better than this eye. So maybe I'll lose the eye. Lose the eye! Um, so I usually find this or the cow or the pig. And um, one thing that I never found before, ever, ever is a cat um you know because a cat's the only cat that knows where it's at but um i paid 69 cents for this little dude um oh there is a cow and a pig for sure but i think there's a sheep too you know all of your farmyard barnyard animals but yeah i paid 69 cents for this i've never seen a cat i've not researched this but I bet I can get $25 for this as well. Um, I don't know that it was ever hung because there's the screws still inside it. So um, really cool. Both of them had ribbons around their neck. I don't know what that's about, but I, I'm assuming they probably came from the same place. Interesting. But that's a little bolo in case you come across them. Let's see. I'm sorry about that. Well, that's gross. Um, Alona says, uh, it's so much, it's so much antique in your, there's, yeah, there's so much, um, that resellers and antique markets themselves so often have no idea of what it was for. So I like it and buy it. I get that, you know, um, I know that when I buy things at, um, flea markets sometimes or antique, not antique, uh, online auctions and stuff, they don't know what it is. But um, maybe if I do or I'm willing to try and research it, I can figure out, you know, how, what it's worth. Um, Chris says when I list the duck, goose, duck, duck, goose, that I should make up a grand story about how it lost its eye. Probably in some kind of sous chef cutlery kind of way. Because why not, you know? All right, not exciting, but I bought these. These are laser rotary cards. These would go in like a Rolodex. Um, probably not highly sought after in this day and age, but um, this is a sealed package, and I'll try and sell these on Amazon. Uh, those came from the bins, so I probably don't have a dollar in them, and who knows? I did not look this up. This is... Um, matchbox and it's Spongebob and I'm going to open it and regret it immediately. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's a little pop-up play set and it looks like <clears throat> it has, there's your matchbox car there. Um, some kind of jellyfish thing. 
it looks like it has a lot of the original pieces with it. So there's a pineapple under the sea, but um, I probably won't be able to close it now because I'm not that talented. Uh, got that at the bins as well. I think all of this stuff right here I got at the bins. The bins. Okay, this is just ultra cool packaging. And let's check this out. How very, very retro. Not even retro, it's just vintage. This is, and I'm no photography major, this is a canister that you would put undeveloped film in. And um, I looked up comps on this last night. N new in box with perfect packaging. This can do about $25. It does ship, excuse me, it does ship first class. This one is not perfect. Um, without the box, they can sell as like 12. So I'm going to try and get about 18 for this in this condition. And again, this came from the bin. So it, it costs probably 50, 60 cents, something like that. <clears throat> How about this little jewelry box? I have no idea what I'm doing with it. Where it's going? Is it a gift? Is it um like is it is it for resale? I doubt it, but I thought it was just kind of cute. Uh, Chris says market it as a prop. Um, yeah, I could do that. I think uh, there's some old school people that might still use them. So I bought this little like iron on thing. And I didn't realize it came from Big Lots. So it probably isn't worth anything. But again, I got it at the bins. So that probably only cost me a few cents. Um, I found these. Um, Completed paint by number. These are vintage. Nice big size. Um, look, they're much larger than my head, and my head is gigantic. Um, here is the other one. It's a nice little landscape with some swans in the front. And I'm hoping to get between 15 to 20 for each of those. I'm not sure why there's a market for those, but there is, and they do sell regularly i was able to find a couple of the deer ones sold in the 15 to 20 dollar range i did not find the swan so i don't know if that will make it more or less valuable i'm not i'm never sure um i got this at the bins this is just some winnie the pooh border and um i'm probably going to list this for like 12 bucks Oh, um, got a book for the kids, a coloring book for my mom, because I like the bins for that kind of stuff, too. Um, it says, that's what friends are for. Makes me feel like um, very 80s with uh, Dion Warwick and who were all the people in that group? Dion Warwick and Stevie Wonder. Who sang that song? Come on, you guys, help me out. That's what friends are for from the 80s. I know it was Dionne War Warwick and Stevie Wonder, but I think there were two other two others. Was Elton John one of them? I don't remember. And the other pillow says Believe. Uh, so much stuff. Um, this is a clover leaf. Oster blender, look these up. Um, they can be valuable. Um, usually, if they have the lid and everything, they're about twenty-five dollars. This one's probably only about twelve or thirteen. Um, but still, I, I got this at the bin, so I only paid like a dollar or something for it. But yeah, uh, clover leaf because of the shape. This is by Oster, and these are vintage. <coughs> Oh my. Uh, picked up a Remington hat. This was 50 cents. Um, you know, Remington, like the um, gun maker, ammunition, ammunition maker. This is for a Sony Vio. I don't know exactly what it is, but it was new and sealed. Um, 
And so I'll look it up and figure out again at the bins. This is a GPS that could, that attaches to a computer. I don't know. I don't know. I just found it. Um, and I think this does about maybe 15, 20. This is a, made by Logitech. It's a G13 gaming key, uh, keypad. And I think this will do about 50. Again, I found that at the, at the bins. And uh, this little Casio keyboard. We couldn't get it to work in the um, in the Goodwill outlet, even though Chris had batteries for it. But um, I said, you know, as cheap as this is, as far as for purchase price, because it's probably only a pound, um, I'm willing to just give it a shot and take it home. Um, you know, it might I might get ten or fifteen bucks for it, just as parts only. Let me get some of this stuff back in that box. Oh my heavens! Okay. So Chris turned me on to this bolo. This is probably one of the most expensive things that I bought. Um, and it was ten ninety nine. And this is the Oster Kitchen Center. And I probably should expect to see a return of about a hundred dollars on this uh, at parting it out. <clears throat> so we've got the dough hooks and the and the beaters here. <clears throat> I've got food processing slicer blades, two, I know that's not a very good shot, two of the glass bowls, there's a smaller one in here, and then the base and the um, the actual mixer unit. So I'm hoping, yeah, um, there's also that the turning disc on the bottom that the bowl sits in, um, and uh, yeah, I should expect to see about $100 back on this. Get that out of the way. Uh, I, found, I found this in the bins, and uh, it has this is the older one, but it has um, tons of uh, cartridges and books with it. So I probably paid three bucks, three, four bucks for this. But then I found another one at the um, thrift store for $1.99. I won't have the cord for this one, but they take batteries anyway. Um, and it has one book with it. I didn't even check to see. It does not have the cartridge. But um, I thought I would be able to make this two lots and maybe get about 40 bucks, 45 bucks for um, selling them separate. So selling them two shot, uh, two lots. I may get fifty. I may get as much as fifty for these two things. I got. I mean, some some prices kill me. I don't understand. I bought this. This is a little seat with an activity center, and so the the toys and stuff rotate on here. So you know, you got playtime. And then you got meal time. Um, I bought this with my grandson Achilles in mind, and because um, he's about three and a half months, three months old now, and um, I paid a dollar ninety nine for this. I couldn't believe it. It was so cheap, so so cheap. What we got here? Ooh. Just like Christmas, it's heavy. Well. Oh. This is another blender jar that I picked up. A garbage can full. Um, also an Oster. It has the blades in it. I paid ninety nine cents for this. It'll probably probably do twelve to fifteen plus shipping, of course. I don't free ship anything like that. Oh, let's see. Uh, been going crazy with greeting cards lately, and a thrift store is a good place to get those if you're not so particular. Um, this one has a lot of invitations in it. I probably won't use, but um, for 69 cents, I mean, I will 
even if I get one card out of that, that's cheaper than buying them new. And I am a tight wad. Okay. Um, I got this. Uh, it's a Pampered Chef veggie slicer, veggie strip maker. And uh, I got this for 69 cents. It's new in the packaging. I think I can get about 12 to 15 out of that. This is a nativity, a little cloth nativity. It's called, it's made by learning. It's made by pocket pockets of learning. And uh, apparently this green, all this green pulls out. And there's your cow. And although he doesn't look all that wise, a wise man. Um, I didn't see this particular one sold, but I just did a quick search. I will look again and see if I can get this listed pretty soon. But I just think this is cute. So, and I paid 99 cents for that. All right. Let's see what else we got here. I've got more cards. Go figure. Um, this is a cute little VTech bath book because, you know, when I'm taking a bath, I want a good, I want a good book to sit down and <clears throat> sing with me. Isn't that cute? Okay, but anyway, so it is completely waterproof, I hope. Looks like it is. And it's just a little bath book that I paid 69 cents for with a grandkid in mind. I always keep those grandkids in mind. This is a SpongeBob SquarePants self-stick wall border. He is still wildly popular. Of course, his show is still on Nickelodeon. But um, I paid 29 cents for this, so even 10 bucks will net me a huge profit on that let me check the chat here <coughs> chris said that the mitt that um kitchen center has about 75 accessories and a meat grinder it, it must have been a huge deal what when those were new um and they still sell really well thrifty paper garden says christmas cards are selling well for me especially vintage ones um but the envelopes could be sealed from age I don't know if you can put them in the freezer. I heard if you put envelopes in the freezer for an hour or something, you are able to unseal them easily. I haven't tried that. That is just something I, I have heard. Um, will you take less? Says I've had good luck with selling the hoses from broken vacuum cleaners. Parts are a good source of income. You know, I am getting to where I love parts as much as anything. Um, I'm always looking for the next thing to part out. Um, I've got a vacuum cleaner right now to part out. It's a shampooer that is new. And uh, I just want to break it all down and, and part it out because people need them. They don't want to pay retail for them. And, um, um, you know, they it's easy to buy on eBay because your you know, you can just do PayPal or whatever. So I love parts. I'm with you. Okay, so bought this bag for $1.99. I love wallpaper border too. And some of it sells really well, some of it not so much, but you know, that's just the nature. So I got three rolls with this really pretty ocean theme. And um there's two. I probably will break these up into these two rolls since they're still sealed. And then this one roll. So I'll make two listings. Then I'll use this piece as the picture. Um, since I had that little bit left over, I probably will ask. Um, this is from 1999. I probably will ask like $24.99 for this and probably $14.99 for this. And then in the same dollar ninety nine, look lighthouses. Um, guys, particular themes 
will sell consistently and lighthouses are something that people love um, they do and these are great colors I love the blue on this um, this is probably made in Canada most really good wallpaper is made in Canada I don't you get you Canadians know how to make wallpaper um, this probably will sell I bet you this sells first just just saying but a dollar 99 investment and I probably will ask 14.99 for this roll and um, so we're looking at about six uh, fifty five dollars for these four rolls of wallpaper border so um, don't overlook wallpaper border usually thrift stores don't ask a lot for it it's um it's one of those little known things they're just trying to get rid of it and there is money to be made there. All right, so I just buy bags of parts. So this is a General Electric food processor Versa disc. It is not worth a ton. Um, this should be one, two, three, one, two, three. There is a blade missing. There's one blade missing in this. Let me open this and show you. So uh, there's this is the holder, um, and these are the blades. Oh, no, oh, Sarah. Sometimes you are blonde all the way, right down to the roots. Look at that. I paid 99 cents for this. I don't think this is worth um, like a ton, but um, I think it'll do okay. I think I'll probably, I want to say 15 to 18 bucks for this. I Chris just sold one, but hers was new. Um, this one is obviously not new, but it is complete, which is a good sign. And I'm hoping now to turn that 99 cents into 15 or 18 dollars. And this is another another bag of parts. And I almost wonder if this is the rest of that kitchen center, which I believe it is. So I paid $6.99 for this. It didn't break. I just dropped it. Um, I say that, but it's probably broken. Here's the meat grinder. Um, this is an oster, so it probably is the rest of the kitchen center. The blender jar. Here is nothing to see here, people. Nothing to see here. Um, this is the rest of the food processor attachment. This thing is so awesome. If I had more counter space, I would certainly keep it. Because I don't have a food processor. Um, I think this is probably another blade for the meat grinder this looks i mean really really in good shape so i mean what am i 150 100 maybe maybe a little more um who knows what even this blade is worth but anyhow um there's also the pusher for the meat grinder so probably 150 i'm guessing on this uh, food processor kitchen center that I have paid about $18 for, which is woohoo, pretty awesome. Um, so I did buy, this is a Tsum Tsum, T-S-U-M, Tsum Tsum, and uh, this is Minnie Mouse, obviously, and uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that. I did buy some grandkid toys, a couple. I can't help it. It's just what I do. I don't know who that is. Maybe One Direction. It kind of feels like One Direction. I'm not sure. Um, I got this at the bins. I can't believe that it was in the bin and it was working. So pick that up. And it's really lightweight. It probably would go first class. Do not
fall. Do not fall. Ah! So, um. Um, here's a working Elmo that I also got at the bin, and he it is a it, you, he's so polite. It's really like having a two year old. Um, so I don't know what he's worth, but uh, he is working. And I've got a couple of other things for the babies that I won't show you. Uh, this is a little lot of Play-Doh. Maybe not worth much, but I got it at the bins. Didn't spend much on it. Um, I think I will just clean this up a little and sell it the way that it is. Play-Doh is always good. I like Play-Doh. Not Some of the sets aren't worth what they used to be. But you can still, you can still do okay with, with some Play-Doh. Okay, I'm going to get some of this stuff off my desk here. Yeah, try not to lose it. Alright. Run is Chris says she reminds him of Cheetos the cat. Yeah, he does kind of have that Chester Cheetah kind of Chester Cheetah kind of thing. Um gosh, you guys are being so patient. I love it. So this was just in a bag. Uh, actually, what happened was, what had happened was, I was picking through a bag of toys that I'll show you here in just a second. And I was at the outlet, and this lady walked up to me, and she's like, hey, this is a bag of dolls. Do you want them? And I'm like, yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. So <coughs> it turns out, it is a whole lot of Monsters, Inc. dolls. This is a Freaky Fusions, Freaky Fusions Bonita Femur doll. I don't know why. Don't, don't judge me. But um, she has about, I think I can get about 15 bucks for her. I'm going to brush her hair up a little bit. And, um, which, I mean, that's pretty cool. This is a... Laguna Blue doll, and there are several of her, different versions of her, but several of her in here. There's 15 of these dolls in here. I'm going to try and get, um, I'm going to try and net about $10 each doll. So that's $150 in this bag here that I probably paid $4 or $5 for at the Goodwill. But what I was going through, I got, I'm going through a lot, um, was this there was a garbage bag i've sorted these out since then but there was a garbage bag with all of these toys in it so these are just little types waffle blocks and they make a they end up making a barn and i don't know maybe 15 bucks for those because i think that it's complete it looks to me like it's complete and uh this is a bag of all little types stuff. So I've got a couple of these little types cars, a couple of these little types um, tow trucks. There is a little cradle. I'm not going to show you everything that's in here, but this little toy storage bench, because it's cute that they made all the dollhouse house furniture like all of the actual little tykes play sets that they make in real life size this one sells for as much as thirty dollars um so i mean that one thing is gonna pay for a great deal of um a great deal of the money that i spent yesterday so there's that and then then i had to sort out all of these little persons that i thought were little people and there are some little people in here. But I thought that these were little people. These are not little people, in fact. These are little tykes. Um, and some people call them little tykes chunky people. But there are quite a few up here. I would say there's probably about 15 of these. 
there are indeed some little people. These are like vintage 90s little people, and they may be a little bit earlier, but definitely the 90s look like this um, for a lot of us. Anyway, uh, I got a couple of Fisher Price little people uh, cars in fire engine. And then the ones you may not recognize are these. And there are quite a few of these. They are hollow in the bottom. Um, but these are made by Tupperware. They're called Tupper Toys. And um, I have quite a few of these as well. There's probably, I'm thinking about $45 to $50 worth of folks in my bag. Here. So also a good score. We're getting close to the end, folks, I promise. I have not looked this guy up, but this is a for real, um, for real friends. It's like a dog you can walk. And um, uh, it feels like it, this is the dumbest thing I'm going to say all, all day. It feels like it should work. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I haven't tested it yet, and I will. I don't know what it's worth, but it was at the, the Goodwill outlet, so I probably only paid a dollar or two for it. Let's see. Chris says that little tyke stuff uh, can be very profitable. Is it, is it Chris and then Thrifty Paper Garden? Is it politically correct to call them chunky? Is chunky people PC? Listen, I am only commenting on the fact that they're full-bodied. Um, I'm not saying they're unfit. I'm not saying that uh, they are less worthy than little frail people, but um, I like my little chunky people. So anyway, I haven't checked this out, but you know, 15 bucks, I'd be happy with 15 bucks on this ship uh, with plus shipping. You know, I don't want to ship anything that expensive or that heavy. Um, let's see, I got a couple more bags here without getting paid for it. Yes, I was almost speechless. Thank you for noticing. But you got to be careful. I mean, you can call me Chunky. I don't care. But some people are very sensitive about that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, you got to try and respect people's sensitivities. It's just the way the world that we live in. People are different. Um, I bought this. It's a Star, War, uh, Star Wars. Yes. Starbucks Barista Coffee Grinder. Um, let's see. I paid $1.99 for this. I didn't look it up. But... Typically, this stuff holds its value fairly well. Let's see. Oh, what kind of stuff is in here? This is for me. I found a stamping up. Um, this is a green stamp pad. Um, these are really expensive, but I paid 29 cents for that one. And it does still, it still like works. What do we got here? Some kind of, I'll have to open this to check. But it's another, it's a wallpaper border. Kind of is like a city street view, but I am going to have to open this um, to actually get the, the, the pattern unless I can find it on here somewhere and look it up. Uh, I paid 49 cents again, another $14.99, $12.99, something like that. I bought a Garmin for $2.99 and a Garmin for $2.99. It's a Garmin Nuvi. Um, they don't always work, but I can still get decent. Um, still get decent for parts only. This is a Sony Dream Machine. I don't know why I keep buying these. A dollar ninety nine. This is probably only worth about fifteen bucks. I don't know why I even bought it for real. If you want to know the truth, um, I bought these. Let's see. Will you take less says we are 65% water. We're not fat. We're flooded. Yeah, I'd like to go through a drought for just a little while, if you don't mind. Um, so I bought these drawer pools, and they're not exactly what I would consider the most um, cutting edge fashion. They're uh, like a tarnished brass look. Um, but they are brand new, and I'm going to list them. When you do drawer pool, pools, you do need to measure the um, distance from hole to hole. So um, 
I don't know, you can't really see that, but from where it screws in to where it screws in so that people know whether it matches what they have. Sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I would say there are a good 30 in this bag. Um, if you have ever redone your kitchen, you know these are expensive. I paid $2.99 for this. So even if I get a dollar a piece, that's 30 bucks for this bag. So I can do that. I have not researched them yet, though. I promise I will. I promise I'm going to do work. At some point, I've got to list all this stuff. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on up here. Oh, in the chat. I wish we had bins in the UK. So much cool stuff you get. Well, this is what I can suggest to you. If you want to fly here... I have a spare room. Just come and we'll go to the bins and you can just ship it back to the UK and uh, we'll just have a good time of it. Um, I've got this uh, blender jar and um, it's glass. It doesn't have a maker's name on it. Usually companies like Black & Decker and Cuisinart and KitchenAid put their name on it. Um, you know, Part of me thinks it's cheap because the lid looks kind of cheap, just the way the lid looks. Part of me thinks it's not because it's glass, and if you're trying to be cheap, why would you put a glass blender jar? So I don't know. I have to do some research. Um, I haven't exactly figured this out yet, but if Nancy's watching, that's what Nancy does. Nancy does research because she's awesome. Um, I bought this little cast iron uh, and tile trivet for 29 cents. It was originally $4.99, but it had been marked down. Uh, it looks like a multitude of times until it got to 29 cents. So I bought it. Looks like we got just one bag or one um, one tub of stuff left. Here's a blast from the past for you folks. Oh, I got a couple of things that in front of me. I can show you. Look at this out indoor outdoor cordless lamp with dimmer switch. Um, this is so 70s, 80s. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Um, so this one I found at the Goodwill Outlet. And it's brand new. It has not been put together. It looks like so. Very cool. And uh, I guess it probably takes a 6 volt battery. Chris says, here's a tip for all paper borders. If you can't st find a stock photo and all your edges are sealed, um, all your edges, are, um, shoot, and all of your packages are sealed, just take a photo of them all sealed and then open one and explain that that and the condition would work on the set of Stranger Things. Yes, it would. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Will you take less as stock photos work on clothes to get the right shape? Chris says, my mom and I would camp in her station wagon when travel traveling and use one of those lights. Um, let's see. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, that's that Carmen. I got, I got junk everywhere. I got junk everywhere. Okay. I'm going to have to have a listing party tomorrow and just sit here and list all day. Let's see if Holly can come and take pictures for me. Um, so this was 79 and I'm hoping that the tape doesn't damage this. But look how cool this is. So it is a set of vintage ashtrays. Or you melt down gold and you pour it in your little molds. I don't know. But I paid 29 cents for this. I just thought it was really cool. It looks like there's probably one ashtray missing. But it doesn't matter because I say it doesn't matter. Um, unfortunately, it looks like as I'm trying to take the tape off, it may damage the paper because the applique here is paper. So um, I may have to use some heat to get that off. I'll, I'll wait so I don't damage it as much as I want to. Okay, um, I bought this. There is no junk in my trunk anymore. Thank you for asking. Um, I was able to pull everything out. 
And, uh, huh, I just got a new subscriber named Dame Garbo. If you have joined us, welcome. Um, use a heat gun. Yeah, that's what I plan to do. I'll um, heat, heat it up. I paid $1.99 for this. If you know anything about it, it's actually a new set. It's probably expired. I don't know. Um, but this is Satin Hands. And I got Man Hands. So what this is, um, is a, it's a hand cream. That would be the last thing you'd use. Um, it is a buffing cream. So this has like, I don't know what they use in it. S sugar or almond bits or like almond shell or something as an exfoliant and you scrub your hands with this and it sloughs off all the dead skin and then there is a soap that then you use to wash your hands and then there is a hand cream to soften your hands and then there is this uh, like overnight emollient uh, extra emollient night cream that is like super duper petroleum jelly kind of uh, wax um, grease that you put on your hands that makes your hands really really soft but uh, this has been around forever i love this stuff so i was happy to pay a dollar 99 for this set of four it was a good deal because i think it's a lot more expensive than that normally all right i promise we're getting to the nitty gritty you guys have been awesome thank you okay um i bought this um uh, digital photo photo viewer thingy with the cord and the instructions. Um, I have one of these in my living room hanging in a picture collage and it just rotates pictures of vacations and stuff. Um, I don't know that this one is worth very much. Again, I got the, the outlet, so it didn't cost very much. I promise just a couple more things. I did find a large one. Um, this is an 11.1 .1 inch. I'm going to market this um, and uh, as something you could use in a wedding or a wake even. Because you know you want to show all the pictures of the person's life. Um, that is very easy to do when you've got one of these digital photo frames. So, um, yeah, we'll market it as one of the something for that. I think this one might be new. Tracy Thrifted is in the house um, from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, yeah, I. Uh, uh, she's practically a neighbor if you're looking at the grand scope of things, because um, Indiana is the next state over. Uh, oh, I'm glad that Tracy says she's enjoying my hauls so much. Uh, well, I'm glad you were able to make the at least the end of this one. Um, this is a cord from something that I probably should remember. I think it is from an electric skillet, I believe, is what I got it from um, at the bins. Hopefully, I'll remember. Let's see, a couple more things here. Down to the last four pretty sure so I got a couple more um, about this I probably will resell it it is a Philips uh, VHS cleaner that does have the liquid inside so probably will put that online for sale this will probably be a gift for a grandkid Jake and the Neverland Pirates matching game uh, fry daddy could be a fry daddy not sure not sure if it was a cord to a fry daddy or not did we ever figure out what the thing was that was chiming? No, but it quit chiming, so that, that's important. This is a leapfrog picnic basket. Is this from Dora? I don't know, because I got only one granddaughter, and she's beyond Dora age. Um, but this was working yesterday. I think I turned it off, thankfully. Um, don't know what it's worth, but, you know, it could be one of those things that I sell locally. Just, just like this guy so I bought this this is actually a talking Thomas I think it's missing part of the smokestack and um, I don't know uh, clearly this was a boys toy because in the hatch they've stuffed big rocks that are jammed in there 
But um, I'm going to see if I can get it to work. And I'm just going to try and sell this locally. I think I pay about 5 or $6 for it. Um, at the thrift, at the Google outlet. Let's see. All right. I bought these. This was a long shot. Oh, we'll see you later. going to go feed her dog. Um, so I bought these, um, they were at the bins. They're just big envelopes, but they say official business. And I thought that was, that's kind of really cool. So I just bought these and I'm going to throw them together as a lot of scrapbooking or props or whatever. We're going to, we're going to walt here. And, and then I bought just these things because they were kind of cool. This is an old letter opener that sold for nine cents. Probably won't be worth anything. This is a Canadian mist um, hair bonnet. And this is just another old hair bonnet. And this is a compass kind of thing. Uh, I don't know. They were just in this bag. And I um, stole these knobs off of, of a Zenith record player at the bin. So I'm going to clean those up and see if I can use those as well. So, I feel like at the top of the stairs, um, there is a couple of things setting. So, I am going to grab those things. Just hang tight. Hang tight. I'm going to grab them. Let's see. Okay. So, I ended up with this thing, and this really cute? Um, and it's probably a good three and a half feet tall, maybe taller. Uh, and I got that for my daughter, and uh, I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. And my daughter's favorite holiday is fall. I try to explain to her that fall is not a holiday. But fall is her favorite, so I thought I'd get her that, and that will be nice for her for next fall. That's it. That's what I bought yesterday. I have 200 items to list. It's going to take me a while. Let's see. Um, Tracy says she loves random bags of stuff. Me too. I love just a random bag of junk. Because there's always some little kernel in there. Um, Chris said, please stand by. Talk amongst yourselves. For real. Because I just left you hanging. But that's all I've got today. This show has run kind of long. Has not. Um, but I thank you guys for being here. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. So much fun. Um, don't forget to pay it forward. I mean, give something back. Anything. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it is. If, you know, if you give somebody a Kleenex in, a, in an elevator because they need one, if whatever it is, just do something nice. Um, oh, Chris Kiesling is here. I didn't see you sneak in. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, let me uh, just, uh, Thrifty Paper Garden says, the one time that I was at the bins, I would see a box and get excited of all the items inside only to have an empty box. Many people, non-resellers, don't want to pay for the box. You never know what you're going to find at the bins. That's wonderful. Thing. Chris says that the compass is actually calipers to be used by radiologists, mechanics, cartographers, architects, anyone working to, to a scale. So, Chris, you are like the person of the day because you said cartographer. And if you don't know, um, is that a map? Person. I think a cartographer is a map person. Um, not that they're made of maps, they work with maps. But anyway, uh, yeah, you're right. They are calipers, uh, not a compass. But um, uh, all I know is I stabbed myself in the finger with those yesterday and I probably need a tetanus shot. Uh, anyway, they, thanks everybody for being here and putting up with my foolishness for all this time. I appreciate you being here on a random Saturday going through all of the junk 
ask that. <coughs> Still sick. All the junk that I bought yesterday. Thank you so much. Hopefully, I will do a sales video soon. I hope your sales are doing great. Keep working at it. Um, just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working. And I'll see you guys the next time. Bye, everybody.